your host, Mr. Wolf. Now, today is a special Christmas edition of the kennel. I brought myself a nice little decor by the tree. Big episode today. Today I'll be interviewing four-time world champion, who is the current world champion in his fourth reign. He has the most combined days of world champion, and he is arguably the second most successful star of wrestling online history. I'm now introducing to you the world champion of wrestling online, the Bruiser. Nice to have you on the show, Mr. Bruiser. It's been lovely to have you. It's been lovely to have you here. Personally, I'm really excited for this. I think I think this will be a breakthrough episode, the Christmas edition. Well, thank you very much, Danny Wolf, for having me on the show. Thank you very much, viewers, for watching this show because you have nothing better to do. <laughs> but um, Danny Wolf, um, I like we don't want the place, not real live, mate. But uh, I'll put it up a bit. Uh, tell you what, I actually got you a gift. It's for you, mate. It's for you. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. I got you this. I got you this brand new Christmas globe. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I like smoke globes. Mm. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh, it's nothing, mate. It's nothing. <laughs> fine. What's that fine? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good. How does it feel to be a former world champion in wrestling online? Uh, that was obviously, you know, by former, I mean because you've won it so many times before. Oh, yeah, of course. Cool. I should have known that. That was my yeah. bad, mate. Uh, no anyway, how does it feel to be a former world champion? Let's just say. The Bruiser has been a milestone in this business. And he still is. Just look at it in all its glory. I am the world champion of the best wrestling company in the world right now. And I've done it more than once. I guess that proves uh, what, that I'm the best there is in this business. No offense, mate. I'm not taking it. That's not true. The Hiro chose me to be general manager and they chose me to be the host of this fantastic talk show, The Kennel. <coughs> Pictures play going much better. <coughs> this is yeah, my mate. namesake show. Carry on. I cancelled whatever little, small scale talk shows that have ever been here before. Alright, I didn't say anything. What, what are you talking about? Anyway, yeah. go on. Right. Give us a question, Danny Wolf. Oh, your question is How are you feeling ahead of your big title defence at Warground? <sighs> Against possibly two of your biggest opponents yet. You see, Danny Wolf, I don't get you. Sometimes you like abusing your power. But sometimes you're like, you're fair, you're honest. You make me defend my championship at Warground against two opponents? How the hell is that fair, Danny Wolf? Usually, I get a fair opportunity to defend my belt, and I have no problem with that. You put me in a ladder match with Matt Davis, back to back with a street fight with Rich Saxon. But before that, you're giving me fair opportunities. So explain, Danny Wolf, what is the sort of system you've got going on? Because I don't, don't quite get it. You put me in a war ground triple threat. I wouldn't mind taking you on. I guarantee I could have put you away anyway for my world championship. But I don't see why you had to throw Rich Saxon in the mix. I'm, I'm, mind you, I'm not scared of Rich Saxon. I'm not scared of Rich Saxon. We all know. But why the hell would you put Rich Saxon in the match? Sorry. My yeah. voice has been getting a bit... I mean, I hate to break it to you, yeah? But ratings ain't fair, kid. I'm the general manager. I'm here to get views, likes, ratings, that's what I'm here for. So if it takes me putting you in a street fight, ladder match, I can put you in a Becky or a pole match if I want to. If it's going to get me views, likes, comments, that's what I'm here for, okay? And also, if I give myself a world title match in between, then good. But the high rocks won't see me give myself an unfair title opportunity. You're right. So I come in, you're right, I can relate. I was once... General manager, I was once running things around here. I can understand where you're coming from, mate. Forget I said anything. I don't mind taking the two of you on. It's just that uh, 
No, you're not. Never mind. I'm sure you're doing the best you can. Sure, doing a great job. I'm sure we can talk some uh, strategies about that uh, match with Rich Saxon in the match later on. Well, personally, I think if Rich Saxon beat you in the tag team terror match, he pinned you. Hey, and then I pinned him. Let's not go back to tag team terror, Danny Wolf. You know exactly what happened there. That was a fluke. You, that should have never happened. You wondered why I'm the contender. That's why both of us in that match. Hey, that was your damn fault, don't you? Don't blame me for, for your own little childish mistakes, man. You're slipping. You're getting a, you're getting a bit well up, yeah? That's what costs you matches. I'm doing this for the higher ups. I know they wouldn't be happy if I lost my temper on a talk show. So I'm going to remain calm. Ask me, another, your temper, would you? ask me another damn question, would okay. you? Please, Wolfman. Okay. How does it feel that the very official, 100% real poll was voted by WrestleMania that you are the second best wrestler in WrestleMania history? And uh, that is amazing to. Wait, second best wrestler? What do you mean? Yeah. Second best? Well, it's a very official poll. Second second best? Posted on Danny Wolf's Twitter account. Wait, to who? Second best to who? Me. The number one. Who else would it be? I don't know, you're doing good. You're in that world title reign. You're doing very well. You're, you're very second best. Nowadays, you know, and I know, you're full of shit. And so am I. So we can blag each other all we want. We can pretend we're going to be an alliance against Rich Jackson. And just wait for one of us to stab each other in the back. And trust me, I'll get there first. Because I'm so much smarter than you. My IQ levels are higher than... I've had more IQ points than you've had hot dinners. You want to talk about stabbing in the back? Remember who stabbed you in the back. Keep that in the mind. And who stabbed you in the back? Right? You must have hit me hard because I don't remember. And I'm sure no one else does. Everyone, everyone remembers Smash Up Online at home. <laughs> and I guarantee you do. But anyway, on with the questions! Uh-huh. Let's not talk about the dental bills that you've cost me from that match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was uh, a great, love of good me. times. <laughs> I think we should cut to a beautiful video that was put together in tribute to the Wanderer. And what he, where he's been wandering recently. Fire in the bell towers. Fire in the sound for the Wanderer. Where shall the Wanderer wander without taking a song? back where do you think that wanderer has been wandering eh? this will be a further continuation of the interview with the bruiser now oh mr bruisers himself how have you been you know and we haven't just sat down and spoke like this in a long time i tell you what danny we'll feel like i've had my time to chill out and i gotta say i i missed the times we had we shared you know what i mean um bruiser to wolf come on we was best friends at one point mate and I'm sure everybody in Wrestling Online, or everyone in the Wrestling Online fan base, cares so much about how we are doing right now. My day has been great. How's your day been? You know what makes my day so great? What's that? Knowing that I don't give a single damn. Who thinks, who cares about our put form of friendship? I, to be honest, no one really does. I mean, that's actually a great segue for my next question. Uh, how does it feel to be a complete worthless champion and a disgrace to wrestle online? Right, that's the one. You pushed the robot, you were saying that's not free, Dave. You were saying that's not free, but no. Come on, Wolfman, don't do something. Come on, man. Come on, now, come on. Push me, push me. Come on, then, do something.
Are we on? Rich Saxon. Well, I want to get a few words on the World Round match and the main event. You will be facing Danny Wolf and the Bruiser. What are your thoughts on that? In the words of the Highlander, there can be only one. Oh, thank you, Rich Saxon. Uh, back to the studio. Oh, uh, you're right, just in time. You just missed him. The Bruce just ran off. He just ran away and he didn't want to fight me, but that's the problem. When, when, when you sit here and you think, I'm going to hire a muscular interviewer, a strong, handsome, intimidating interviewer. It's just... It's just that, you know, you don't, you don't know what you get, really. That's what you get. Oh, come on. You can't be kidding me. No. Oh. Come on in, you big old sack. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'll see myself out, big boy.